Hey, it's Greg with the Robinson Real Estate Team right here in San Diego, California. And if you're looking at buying a home with a VA certificate, this is going to be very, very helpful for you today. We're going to talk about the benefits of owning a home as a VA certificate holder. So let's talk a little bit about kind of the options you have available and learn a little bit about the benefits of home ownership. I have on the call with us here, Nate. How are you doing today, Nate? I'm doing very good, Greg. Thanks for uh, you know connecting us up. Yeah, absolutely. I know you work well, you're one of the top real estate agents in all of San Diego for working with VA home buyers. Tell us a little bit about your history that way and some of the things you've done uh, to focus on that uh, that VA niche that you do. Oh, well, I mean, I've been in this industry right now 16 years. And so I've been specializing in VA buyers for the last nine years. Um, we've done things from taking buyers from trying to, you know, because of orders, because of, uh, of the things that my military folks have to endure, you know, we've just dealt with a lot of the pressures of trying to get them into the places that they need to move into uh, within the confines of their budget, their orders and their families. So we have to put a lot of pieces together to make sure that it works for each and every one of those families and every one of those situations are individualized. So. Yeah. And let's talk a little bit about that. I mean, I think anybody that's in the military might mistakenly think it makes sense to rent a home or rent an apartment. Um, and they're really missing out on a lot of money. They're missing out on a lot of allowance. They're missing out on a lot of opportunities because home ownership is very, very possible. And frankly, a lot of folks in the military do own a house. Talk to us a little bit about that. What are some of the downfalls of just renting and throwing your money away that way? Uh, you know, I think that this is probably one of my pet peeves because I find that there's a mindset that's just established with a lot of folks that I deal with that's in the military where they think that they got this free money. They got the, ba the BAH, right? So they got the basic housing allowance and they, and, they, and they use it to either, you know, you know, go and rent an apartment and sometimes they have two or three buddies together and they'll use that money to, you know, for their living, but they actually pocket the rest of it but they don't invest it. And they think that, you know, it's doing them some great deal of, 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 of benefit. But the problem being is that most people spend all the cash that they have available and they're never really accumulating it. Um, and again, at the end of the day, once you rent a hundred percent, I don't care how good of a tenant you may be a hundred percent of that money is gone forever when you rent. Landlord's never going to give it back, even if you paid on time, even if you're a quiet tenant, even if you just help them out with so many things around the area, around the house, they're never going to give anything back. And so it's really important if uh, any of my military folks wants to start earning some wealth and building their own nest egg, they need to get into a house. And so I, I think that's extremely important that we find something that fits within their budget and that they can step up, even if they're only going to stay, you know, two, three years, you know, the way that housing is going and the way that the properties are appreciating, you know, you're going to always walk away with something rather than nothing. A hundred percent of what's spent on rent is completely wasted. And so that's kind of why it's one of my biggest things to make sure I get these guys educated, support the people that have been supporting us. Yeah. And I think that's the, the big key here is, you know, of course you get a housing allowance and that's based on your ranking in the military, but you don't want to just waste that on rent. It's much better to get into home ownership, get into a neighborhood you're happy with, a school district you're happy with. And even if you are only staying for two years or longer, it does make sense to own. You can still resell that property. And you've been doing this for quite a long time. So you've worked with a lot of clients that have moved in, moved out. Uh, you know, they, they, get changed to another location, they go to another military base and they can still sell their property, but sometimes they even go away with a big chunk of money. They're able to walk away with a lot of money. So you're pretty good at not only finding the perfect house for them, but also making sure the resale value is going to be there should they ever need to decide and uh, to move in the future. You know, when they uh, PCS out of there, they've got to make sure that they can sell that home and hopefully walk away with a little bit of money as well. Um, so a lot of the stuff that you do is extremely helpful for them to learn how to, first of all, buy, because a lot of people make the mistake of thinking, I have a VA certificate so I can buy a home with no money down, but I only have one certificate. I can only do it once in my life. The fact is they can buy as many homes as they want with their VA certificates. Can you talk a little bit about that? And, and one of the big benefits of being involved in the military, you do get this VA certificate for home ownership. 
Yeah, I, I see. I think that the, the great thing about the certificate and the opportunity that you can use it more than once, again, um, it depends on the number of homes and what your eligibility is going to be on actually the amount of homes that you can actually own. There is, is definitely dependent upon the individual. But the important thing is, is that you don't just use it once and you're done. You can use it once and then you can turn around, sell a property and use it again to buy your next home. And so that you have your, your benefits moving along with you. And again, not only are you putting uh, no money down, or in some cases, you are putting something up front to actually hold the house, kind of like when you buy a car. You know, you got to show the, the seller that you're serious and that you got some skin in the game. So you do put a down payment, but all of that is usually recovered by the time we get to closing. It reminds me of a, a client, you know, you, we talked a little bit earlier about what they walk away with. I had a client. I'm just going to give you his first name. I don't want to give it too many details, but his name is Dave. And he actually gives me permission to share some of this information. We helped him buy a house out of pocket. He put a thousand dollars down at closing on that property. He got back over 670 bucks. So he actually sp spent a little bit over like two, three hundred dollars out of pocket to purchase a home. Um, and our mindset when we help these buyers for the very first time is to begin with the end in mind. We are going to purchase a home. We are going to look for homes as though we need to sell it the next day because very well, right? Our orders can come through and things can change in an instant and we may need to sell the next day. And so if we go in it with a mindset that I have to sell this property and I have to do it shortly, it'll cause us not to make emotional decisions, but when we go to buy, we're going to buy using logic and we're going to be able to sell using logic. And so we're looking for opportunities that are out there. But again, you know, that certificate that you get, you know, it can be used multiple times and it's not just a one and done, you know. Yeah. And, and I, I think another big benefit, one of the problems was before San Diego, it's not cheap to live in San Diego. And nope. there used to be a housing size limit or a uh, value limit that you would have with VA. They recently got rid of that limit. Can you talk a little bit about that now? Oh my gosh. So, I mean, that's probably one of the coolest things that they've, they changed as far as the limits are concerned. You used to be able to go up to about six to $700,000 when you were trying to purchase a home. Now they removed the limit. So you can actually buy a million dollar property, a million dollar property using your VA benefits. Now, not that everyone's going to want to go out and go get a million dollar property, but you know, if you're an E78 and you've kind of work your way up the ranks and you have good income, it makes sense. You know, you're paying two and a half percent on interest right now. And so interest is so the interest rates are so low and the opportunity to actually be able to get something that's very affordable and maybe even rent out a few rooms to some of your other buddies. I mean, you guys already live together sometimes inside the barracks, right? So if you got a nice big old house, why not bring a few of those guys in there and you start working as a landlord, earning money while you're still in the military. So you, there's lots of ways to use it. So I, I, you know, I have some really good clients that are using it the right way. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's a much better move, you know, to uh, be the landlord rather than pay the landlord, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Definitely a good way to go. Now, um, a lot of what you do with your home buyers is if they RVA home buyers, they've got to get pre-approved and kind of go through that underwriting first because they want to be positioned right in the marketplace. And we talk a lot about the negotiation. One of the strong suits that you and your team has is you're very good at negotiating because again, we may need to sell this home in a couple of years. We want to buy it right. And one of the key factors in negotiating to buy right is making sure that the seller knows if I choose this buyer over all the other offers that we're getting here, I know I will have cash at closing. Um, so talk a little bit about kind of that pre-approval or pre-underwriting that you guys go through. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we, we are connected directly with a VA lender who is it's very experienced and have done, has done this for the last few decades. Right. So this is not something that's like a first time getting into the, the, the mortgage business. Um, the important thing that I work out with our lenders and our vendors that we actually work with is that we make sure that we walk into the door with a pre-approved, underwritten approval from the lender. So it's almost like we're walking in with cash. And right now, I mean, Greg, you understand how the market's working. Offers are coming in by the dozens. And a lot of times people are putting down, you know, 50% or 100%. So when you walk in with a VA loan and you show them, hey, this has already been approved. 
all you have to do is take this offer and, 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 and take it to the bank. And so that's the important thing is that you don't want to miss out on a, a great opportunity because you aren't prepared. You don't want to just jump out and start running looking at houses. You got to get all your ducks in a row before we go out there. You got to kind of almost follow our game plan in a sense when it actually comes to buying a house. And so that's really important that we get it underwritten, we get it approved, and everything is, uh, you know, all our ducks are lined up so that when we, when we present the offer, we look very, very advantageous. You know, you talked about positioning, right? Do you like Oreo cookies or, or, or cookie chips ahoy, or do you want mom's homemade cookies? Most people want mom's homemade cookies. So we try to position, you know, our buyers just like they're getting mom's homemade cookies. Yeah, they want, to, they want to look at it as though it's money in the bank. They know if I accept this offer over others, there's not going to be any problems. Everything looks like it's pre-researched uh, and pre-approved and ready to go. So um, you know, let's talk about kind of that process. So I know usually you want to have a quick phone conversation with someone, give them some, you know, answer their questions. You'll have a couple of questions for them if they're thinking about maybe buying instead of renting. Uh, but once you get through that process, if they do want to start looking at homes, you get access to unlisted homes and pre-market properties that are really good deals. And you do a lot with what we call virtual showings. You'll even do, you know, FaceTime or, or, you know, take a tour and do it on video and load it online for them. Because if they're coming in from other locations, they don't want to come in and be stuck with one day of shopping. You'll do some shopping for them in advance. Can you talk a little bit about that? If they're coming from across the country or across the pond, how do they shop for a house? Uh, so mainly, to be honest with you, it's usually the spouses, the one I'm really heavily involved with. It's usually not the military personnel themselves because uh, it's just the way the houses have been broken up. And so I'm usually working with the spouse. So we normally like to actually do videos. I do FaceTime or we can actually send videos directly through the Internet and we can preview homes. I got to tell you, we had one situation with one particular client. Um, uh, his name is Gonzalo. Um, and, you know, he had a situation where he actually, his deal fell apart on the property that he was selling and he was a VA buyer um, and actually on the property that he was purchasing and he had it to move. I think he had 14 days to move and basically had two days to actually find a replacement home. We were able to find not only a replacement home, but our offer was so strong and so powerful that when we handed it to the listing agent and say, hey, this offer is contingent upon our clients moving in tomorrow. And wow. it was like, no way, we're not doing it. But the seller looked at the offer. She looked at what was written down. And because it was already underwritten, it was already approved. And we had done our homework, had gotten a chance to know the buyer, know what their likes were, know what their wants were. All we had to do was go find the home, brought the client in. He looked at it, said, that's exactly what I want got the offer through. We were in the house the next day. He moved in the next day. We didn't close for two more weeks, but we were in the house two weeks early. So it was an awesome deal. So yeah, wow. but we do that all the time, you know? So if we got a family moving in from out of town, not a problem. Got my iPhone, get on your iPhone, or we can duo if you're an Android user. <laughs> yeah. But we can duo and uh, make sure that we get the video out there so you guys can see the homes themselves. And having the experience of gone through a lot of homes, thousands of homes, um, we know what to look for. We know how to make sure that we protect you so that, again, if we need to sell a property, we're going in with the end and we're starting the beginning with the end in mind. And so, yeah, yeah. that's kind of how we work it. Yeah. And, and, you know, obviously when they get their PCS orders, we got to go. We got to make it work with that timing, with those dates, everything else. So you're really good at uh, locating the best property, but also getting terms of price, um, uh, uh, the uh, closing dates, the possession dates, all of that, you're good at making that work because you work with so many military buyers. Again, you're one of the top in all of San Diego. So uh, your team is very well versed in how to make that happen and just making it as smooth as possible. You know, it's already enough to have to uproot yourself and move to another state or another side of the country. Uh, but you want this to be as smooth as possible. And I know since you've been doing this for so long, you know a lot about neighborhoods and you know, kind of family style and schooling and, and, you know, what's close to shopping, all of the things that an outsider that's just moving to the area, you can get them very comfortable very quickly. And I think that's one of the big benefits here. Um, talk to us a little bit about your team, because you've got some buyer's agents that help you with this as well. Yeah. So uh, our team is constantly growing. Uh, 
even as we speak, we're adding more people onto the team. But you have myself and we have uh, two sharp, very well-educated buyer agents that have been working with our team. One of them actually is a, 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 a he's a, a broker, all right? He was a full-time broker. He had his own business, looked at the programs that we put together and said, hey, you know, I want to get involved in what you guys are doing because you guys are making a huge difference. So, uh, you know, our team is, you know, right now we have three agents that are actually licensed that are actually able to go out and look at properties. So instead of getting just one agent that might be able to help you, you got three people that are at your, that are at your disposal, in addition to our administrative support, our marketing support and all the other pieces that we pull together. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a huge benefit there. You know, I mean, it's not just one person. There's nothing worse than you have one contact, but that contact's in a meeting and can't take your call real quick. We've got plenty of people on the team here to do a good job for you. And uh, again, make that moving process and, and the home search process um, as easy as possible and just kind of get through everything seamlessly. I think that's the big goal here. So it usually starts with a quick phone conversation. Can you tell everybody kind of how that works? We'll put the uh, your phone number here at the bottom so they can kind of reach out to you here. How does the process usually work if they are moving to the San Diego area? How do you usually like to start that? So normally, and now with COVID, we're actually sometimes doing our meetings, we try to make sure that we sit down and talk to everybody before we even get started. Let them know what we're about, how we work, and what they should expect. So we actually give you, you know, our clients a roadmap showing them every point along the way how to go through the process. That's how we started. We do this meeting usually in person, but now because of COVID, we're doing it, you know, um, you know, in the uh, on, through Zoom, you know, yeah. like we're doing it right now um, mm -hmm. over the internet, and we'll probably continue to do that as the future rolls on because I think it just makes better sense. We're able to help people where they are, and they don't have to get up and run around and go come out and meet us. But if they do come, they got a great place. Um, so once we go through that first meeting, we go through the process of what it takes to actually buy. Um, we show them all of the things that they need to do. Um, and then we set them up with the pieces in place to help them along the way. So we don't just tell them what to do. We walk with them, hold their hand through the entire process. So they're not alone. And uh, especially if we're dealing with a spouse, because those are the ones that are trying to take care of the children, trying to keep the house in order, order the internet, the cable, the telephone, move everything. They got a lot of stress. So we get a chance to remove a huge chunk off their plate and make them look like the heroes in front of their spouse. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I think that's really the, the great part about it is you've done this so many times. And I think your referral business kind of speaks for itself. You know, military is a tight niche uh, family. So, you know, when you do a good job for them, all the other people moving in, they talk to the other military spouses or whatever. And they're like, you got to use Nate Robinson's team here. So um, the referrals that you get have been phenomenal as well, which is, you know, a, a testament to the uh, value that you provide for them. So that's certainly good. Uh, but again, information is listed below. You're welcome to fill out the info here or simply give us a call. We'd love to have a quick conversation with you to talk a little bit about what you'd like to do and more importantly, the benefits of the home ownership side instead of renting. Uh, Nate, I know that's one of your big pet, big pet peeves. So you want to get everybody into the American dream of home ownership. Absolutely. It's just, we don't stop throwing money away. That's all. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. Why well, have a VA certificate and get a housing allowance if you're not going to use it for profit, right? You know, hey, listen, you know, if they put their lives on the line, you know, our military folk, they put their lives on the line every single day for us. You know, when they're done in their service for the country, they should have something to show for it. And so that's my personal, I don't know, my, my soapbox is to make sure that they have something to show for it because, you know, I, 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 it, it breaks my heart. It hurts my heart when I see sometimes where they fail because they were just, you know, living off the money that they had and they were throwing it away. Throwing it away. And off the landlord's mortgage instead of their own, right? Yeah, it's just, I, I don't want to see that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a patriot. I don't want to see that, so. Right, right. Well, very good. Listen, I know you as well as your team are doing a great job with the uh, military families of the world that are all coming to San Diego. San Diego is one of the biggest hubs of all. Right. So that's uh, a huge military town. Uh, great place, by the way. You know, I mean, I think everybody's going to love it. If you're if you're getting PCS over to San Diego, you're a very lucky person. Just make sure you get into home ownership uh, nice. so that we can make sure you uh, come out of there richer than you were when you came in. You don't want to pay off the landlord's mortgage. But info is listed below. Reach out to us here. Fill out your info. We can reach out to you, whichever is best for you. 
we'd love to help you and your family with your transition to the San Diego area. And most importantly, have that pride that you'll have uh, with home ownership. I think you're really going to enjoy that and take advantage of all the benefits of the VA certificate you have available to you. Nate, I appreciate your time here today. All right. Thank you, Greg. You know, my phone was beeping as we actually, while we record. And so I'm just like, hey, that's just reality, right? But yeah, thanks for, 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 for setting everything up and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get these families taken care of. Absolutely. Thanks so much for watching. Reach out to us here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about it. At least have a phone conversation. I think you'll be impressed. We'll talk to you soon and bye-bye for now.